Hello everybody, my name is Nathan Sifu, and welcome to Mass Effect 3. Let's play. I have a feeling I know who's next, but I could be wrong. Oh, no invitees, okay. Uh, rain check. Uh, Specialist uh, Samantha Trainer. Thanks for, uh, thanks for sticking around to wa uh, watch me head, head to uh, Suzo's. Uh, sorry again for messing up lunch plans. Um, love to get a rain check. Let me know when free I'll come by. Oh, oh, okay. Cool. Actually, okay. Well, before I lose track, it's, that's kind of what happened last time. I lost track by checking the emails. So I'll actually get out of that and just invite her up. Oh, is this what, <laughs> is this what I think it is? I think. You sure you want to leave that here? I can't very well bring it back to the Normandy. I'd have nowhere to put it. <laughs> this place is amazing. Puts the prefabs back on horizon to shame. And it has a hot tub. Go ahead. <laughs> Cheers. Kind of thought this might be the hot tub scene. <laughs> Back when oh, Bioware didn't, man, give it, didn't mind giving a little and bit of fan service. Sinuses. I might not even need my antihistamine tonight. Your what? It's a pill. I'm allergic to dust and cats and public speaking. Mm -hmm. I take a proton pump inhibitor for my stomach too, and an inhaler for asthma. Oh wow! I didn't realize people still had conditions like that. No offense. None taken. My body is just this inconvenient thing I used to carry my mind around. <laughs> the colony where I grew up has limited resources. You only get gene therapy if you have a life-threatening condition. There was some scented bath oil out there somewhere. Could you grab it? Yeah. Here you go. Thanks. Eyes are over here and up here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you have a loofah? A loofah. This is Anderson's apartment, remember? I highly <laughs> doubt he has a... Found one! Somebody left an overnight bag with <laughs> toiletries and massage oils and... You know, girly stuff. Do you know who <laughs> Kay Saunders is? She has great taste in adjustable massage ones. Adjustable massage... Adjustable massage ones. Could they... Could they possibly be trying to deliver any more fan service. I, I, I doubt it. <laughs> Painfully obvious. Uh, I mean, not that it's painful. Uh, let's see. What do we got next? We got... Okay, so let's check the next email. Memorial service. Coliath. Oh, this is the one that I think I, I've always screwed up. Uh, Commander. Uh, I was somewhat surprised uh, to receive a com... Uh, call from from the council. They would like to hold what humans call a memorial service, where it is it, where is held does not matter as much as uh, who attends. I would like you to be there, as well uh, well as those uh, people on the Normandy who knew my father. I understand that human services people speak uh, well of the dead. It seems appropriate of you con uh, to conduct this uh, part uh, as the commander of the Normandy. To be honest, I'm somewhat nervous. I might recall an inappropriate me memory in front of everyone. Uh, thank you. It would mean a great deal to me. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I want to do it, but where do I do it? Where is it? Memories. Those people from the Normandy... Dead. Just trying to find out where it should be. Or where it is. Okay, so do... Oh, I just invite him in. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, I actually... I actually haven't seen this before. This part. We are gathered here. To a little bit of a downer, of Thane but Krios. Thane touched each of our lives in different ways. The counselor knew him as a hero. 
The Normandy's crew knew him as a brother in arms, and others as a father devoted to his son. Uh, Thane fought besides us. Uh, Thane redeemed himself. Though his life took him to very dark places, Thane cared for the better angels of our nature. Even when he was terminally ill, he ran through worn-torn streets to reach me because he knew I needed help. You all know the results of that day. An assassin, a professional criminal, gave his life for his galaxy. And now he can rest. Would anyone else like to speak? What I remember about Thane was Tally. his confidence. He told me once about how he remembered everything, even every mistake he made. If I did that, I'd be a nervous wreck. Thane kept it under control. It's strange, but the last word I label Thane with is assassin. And we covered each other in firefights. That makes him a partner. Hmm. Thane's last stand was important. But let us also remember why Thane left the Normandy. To keep his son away from a life of crime. Deeds such as these do not go unnoticed by the universe. They echo in all who hear them. That is why I am here. Thane took himself seriously. A trait with which I did not always agree. I tried to make him laugh on several occasions. But what I interpreted as a lack of humor was masking a great effort. Thane was turning his life around in a way few organics do. The day Thane came onto the Normandy, all Kelly and I knew about him was that he could probably kill us all with a ballpoint pen. But after you got to know him, there wasn't any reason to be afraid. He let you know where you stood. Kolyat, do you... Uh... When I was little, I thought my father had it all figured out. He said men must be loyal to their friends and dangerous to their enemies. But when he prevented me from, from hurting someone, he had changed. He said enemies and ego are not as important as loved ones. I didn't want to hear it. I was lost. I called him a hypocrite in a thousand different ways. Said that he was going soft. Now, I think maybe he did have it all figured out. That's all I can say. If anyone would like to continue, we'll be here. Hmm. Looks like people are starting to clear out. Commander, thank you for holding this event. In time, it will be a good memory. That was a very well written scene. I think that I, th I think that was really good. I think that was a good way to to honor the character of of uh, Thane. Uh, it doesn't feel good. Uh, I did what I could. Uh, I don't know if I'll be as philosophical about it. It's still kind of raw. I understand. If you will excuse me, I should take this opportunity to speak with the counselor. But what? She is feeling grateful. And I want to point out there are some Solarian biologists who need funding. If anyone would be able to create a breakthrough in the treatment of Keppel's syndrome, it would be them. Mm. Do it. If you need someone to hold the counselor's feet to a fire, then there. It's all right, Commander. Counselor Ashiel could use some good press right now. This is the right time for such a favor. Oh, before I go, I was organizing my father's possessions, and I came upon copies of video messages he tried to send you. Oh, I no sent way. to your extranet address. I hope they help more than they hurt. Until we meet again, Commander. 
So I can listen to those. Oh my god, I've never I've never heard this before. How do I do that? Uh, am I doing it for time? Okay. Yeah, let's go check the messages. I didn't even know I could do that. That's too bad. I have tried a false identity to try to get this message through to you. We'll see if it works. I have good news and bad. The good news is that Kolyat and I took a few days to visit Earth. Light the shade of her eyes. Trill sound of chirping stops. I scan the ground. See two tiny bodies locked by claws. Excuse me. As I was saying, we saw a beautiful sunset in New Mexico, and a scorpion eating a cricket. I wish you could have joined us. The bad news is, I had... I fainted and struck my head. Kolyat has convinced me to stay at Huerta Memorial on the Citadel. Oh. I'll be there from now on. I still don't want to die in a hospital, but it's where the doctors are. And Kolyat. I love him. That means I must trust him. Goodbye, Shepard. Let me say that now, in case I cannot later. Hmm. And he couldn't. Wow. Alright, uh, let's see. Do I want to squeeze another one into this episode? It's easy to it's it's easy to just keep it going. They they they're really in with it with with another one. Okay, what's what's next? Uh but uh boy boy tea ball? How do I say that? Goodwill games. Steve Curtis Sh Shepherd. Uh the Seattle sor uh, sorcerers are taking on the the Asuru uh, is it ball games? Uh should be epic. I've uh, recently acquired uh, an apartment with uh, a sweet vid screen coincidence. Uh, James and I don't think so. Um, <laughs> you provide the uh, coach, we'll provide the refreshments. Just let us know. Cool. Yeah, uh, definitely. Let's do that. All he is, get in here. <laughs> no, it sounds awesome. Come on in. That somebody was you. Didn't say it was. So when's the mm -hmm. game? It's about to start. Seattle Sorcerers versus Usaru Maestros. Gonna be some intense by Audible. Nah, it's just a goodwill game for troop morale. They'll take it easy. 
Yeah, I can't focus. With Earth and Fessia both occupied, how could they stay focused on a game? Uh, you haven't seen Derek Rogers' game lately. Man, he and the sorcerers have been tearing it up. Esteban, the maestros don't lose. Have you seen Tyra Tassanis play? The woman is blue lightning. Mr. Vega, <laughs> your love of the Asari team has more to do with how they look than how they play. Hey, that's not true. Not entirely. Besides, <laughs> you're telling me you don't got the hots for some of the sorcerers? Okay, okay. Guilty as charged. <laughs> Who are you backing, Shepard? Uh, help me out. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Uh, the Seattle Sorcerers are one of the few human b-ball teams left. They were on tour when Earth was hit. Since acquiring Donna Novotny from the Hackers, they've been completely unstoppable. Yeah, but most of the Maestros have been playing since before First Contact. They'll win this. I know the Sorcerers have never beaten the Maestros, but they've never been this hungry either. So, Shep, who's it gonna be? Uh, sorry. How do you bet against a team that's been playing since before we were born? Listen up, Esteban. Shepard's preaching the wisdom. <laughs> Come on, the game's starting. <laughs> Let's see. Merda, he was out! You're blind, ref! <laughs> Yes, they did it. Don't be so Damn. smug. Pay up. Wait, Steve picked the winner. Why is he paying? We weren't exactly betting on who'd win. We were betting on if you'd pick the winner. And you spend all your luck in the battlefield, Commander. Oh Simple shit! Man. Anyway, <laughs> it was a hell of a game. Yeah, great evening. Thank you, Shepard. My pleasure. Tomorrow comes early. Hasta luego. Early. Speaking of early, I'm late. I'm up late. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do one more episode. That was fun, but I'll have to pause it there. If you enjoy my content and want to see more, do some of the stuff that the screen is telling you, and check out my other stuff. If you want to see me play live, check out the links in the description. Come talk to me, maybe even play with me. That is it for this episode, and I will see you in the next game.